Good morning children. In this session, we will learn how to solve an equation. How we can find the root of an equation or the solution of the equation. Clear? And we will solve some textual exercise. Okay children? So let us begin. Now students, I will explain how to solve an equation. Now here, you all must have seen the weighing scale. Is it or not? Correct. So, you know that in weighing scale, we put weights in one pan and things to be weighed in another pan. There are two pans. Now, equation is also like that. We have two sides of equation left hand side and right hand side clear an equation is like a weighing scale with equal weights in both its pans understood children clear now let us understand this by one example solving an equation okay so here i have written 8 minus 3 is equal to 4 plus 1. 8 minus 3 is on the left hand side and 4 plus 1 is on the right hand side. Now children you know that the value of the left hand side is equal to value of right hand side. So 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 and same way 4 plus 1 is also equal to so, our value of left hand side and right hand side are equal. Correct. Now, let us add 2 to both the sides. Now, what will happen? 8 minus 3 plus 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 plus 2. So, 8 minus 3, 5 plus 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 plus 5 plus 2 that is equal to 7 and 7. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. Correct. Now the next is subtracting 2 from both the sides. Now here I will subtract 2 from both the sides. That is 8 minus 3 minus 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 minus 2. Now let us see what happens. 8 minus 3, 5 minus 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 that is 5 minus 2. The answer is 3 is equal to 3. Correct? Understood? Now let us multiply both the sides by 2. Now here again 8 minus 3 multiplied by 2. Same way on the right hand side 4 plus 1 multiplied by 2. So 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 5 multiplied by 2 and that is 10 is equal to 10. And last we will divide both the sides by 2. So 8 minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 divided by 2. So what will come? 8 minus 3 5 upon 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 also 5 upon 2. So now children here you please see that if we are adding same number to both the sides the equation, the value of the equation does not change. Clear? The left hand side and the right hand side value remains same. Understood children? Clear? So, this is known as the systematic manner to solve an equation. Now students, let us see. If we are adding any different numbers, to both the sides then also the equation remains the same let us check it out here again with the same equation I am taking 8 minus 3 is equal to 4 plus 1 
now i am adding 2 to the left side i am adding 2 to left side means 8 minus 3 plus 2 so that is equal to 8 minus 3 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 and i am adding 3 to the right hand side correct so let us see right hand side is 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 clear so if we add different numbers then the value of the equation changes it is not same understood now students we will solve examples from exercise 4.2 clear in this first sum we have to give the first step to separate the variable and then we have to solve the equation clear so see over here how it is to be done x minus 1 is equal to flat 5 so x minus 1 when we are adding plus 1 to both the sides then only the minus 1 and plus 1 will be cancelled and uh, the variable x remains the same on the left hand side so x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 5 plus 1 that is equal to plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled and x is equal to 6 isn't it very simple is it or not very nice okay now the next one is y plus 4 is equal to 4 so now over here which number is to be subtracted correct now we have to subtract the number 4 correct so y plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 4 now we have what we have done over here minus 4 so same way over here also we will do minus 4 so y is equal to 0 understood clear we will solve sum number 2 here b upon 2 is equal to 6 so first what we will do yes we will multiply 2 to both the sides so b upon 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6 multiplied by 2 so this 2 and this 2 will cancel b is equal to 12 correct simple okay now over here what we have to do this 20 is in a multiplication form so we have to divide it by 20 so if we are dividing left hand side by 20 we have to divide right hand side also by 20 so 20 t upon 20 is equal to minus 10 upon 20 clear so this 20 and this 20 will cancel so t is equal to this 0 this 0 will cancel minus 1 upon 2 understood clear students now sum number 3 here i will solve this sum 20p upon 3 is equal to 40 now what we have to do first yes we have to multiply 3 by 3 both the sides so 20p upon 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 40 multiplied by 3 this 3 and this 3 will cancel so 20p is equal to 120 so what will come now p is equal to 120 upon 20 so p is equal to 6 clear understood very simple yes or no okay now moving to next sum 3s plus 12 is equal to 0 now here 12 is in a addition form so we will subtract 12 from both the sides so what will come 3s plus 12 minus 12 is equal to 0 minus 12 
करेक्ट सो थ्री एस प्लस ट्वेल्व एंड माइनस ट्वेल्व विल बी कैंसल इज इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेल्व सो वॉट विल कम एस इज इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेल्व अपॉन थ्री एंड सो वॉट विल कम एस इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर अंडरस्टोर्ड क्लियर नाउ वन मोर सम वी विल सॉल्व दिस इज टू क्यू प्लस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व सो नाउ वी विल सब्ट्रैक्ट सिक्स फ्रॉम बोथ द साइड्स सो टू क्यू प्लस सिक्स माइनस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व माइनस सिक्स प्लस सिक्स एंड माइनस सिक्स विल बी कट सो टू क्यू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एंड क्यू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स अपॉन टू एंड सो क्यू इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्लियर अंडरस्टूड नाउ स्टूडेंट्स मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज सॉल्यूशन ऑफ एन इक्वेशन बाय ट्रांसपोजिंग अ नंबर नाउ चिल्ड्रेन अंडरस्टैंड दिस ट्रांसपोजिंग अ नंबर मीन्स दैट इज अ चेंजिंग साइड is known as transposing now earlier i have explained trial and error method to solve an equation the second method was systematic method so in systematic method we have learned that we have if we are adding two to left side we have to add two to the right side also same way if we are multiplying by two or to the left side we have to multiply to the right side also subtracting two from both the sides or dividing both the sides by two like that these are that was a systematic method now solution of an equation by transposing method transposing method means changing side side that means we have to change the side from left hand side to the right hand side now we have to follow certain rules for that now children we know that e is equal to sign divides the equation into left hand side lhs and rhs but the value of left hand side e is equal to right hand side clear over here if we are adding this side we have to subtract that number if suppose here the number is we have to subtract here we have to add same way multiplication over here we have to divide and suppose here if it is in a division form here we have to multiply it so children this is the rule that when we are changing the side of any of the number any of the expression then we have to change the sign also understood clear now let us understand this by one example here i am giving you 5x plus 12 is equal to 27 clear children so now 5x now this is plus 12 If I will put it here, twenty-seven minus twelve because plus twelve will become here minus twelve. Now five x is equal to fifteen. Clear, and x is equal to fifteen upon five. Why upon five? Because here it is in a multiplication form. So over here it will become a division. Correct. So x is equal to three. clear understood children fine students in session 1 i have explained and solved sums of exercise 4.1 and in session 2 i have explained and solved sums of exercise 4.2 now rest of all the sums all of you complete in your class work clear children understood okay thank you so much